Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this video, we will learn how we can create a base fragment or activity class for our view binding so that we do not need to initialize the binding variable in every activity or fragment. And for this example, I have taken the project that we created in the MVVM tutorial series. So if you have not seen the MVVM series yet, then I will leave the link here and from here you can watch the MVVM tutorial where we created a complete authentication system for Android. So it is the same project. I just cloned the repository from Git and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so that you can check it out. So you also need to clone the same project and if you go to UI then I have created a base view model and we have a fragment that is home fragment and we also have a login fragment and a registration fragment. So if we go to login fragment then you can see for binding we need to define this late init var and then we need to initialize the binding variable like this and these two lines we need to write in every fragment. And the same thing we need to do with activity as well. The process for activity is little different, but yeah, we need to inflate the binding class and then we set the content view in the activity. So we need to write some lines for view binding in our activity or fragment classes. And we need to repeat this thing in every activity or fragment. Here I am taking the example of a fragment. So for every fragment, I need to define this late init where and then I need to write this line. So I want to avoid writing these two lines in all my fragments. And that is why I will create a base fragment where I will write this part. So let's see how we can do this thing. So what I will do is inside the base package, I will create a new Kotlin class file and I will name it base binding fragment or base view binding fragment and I think it is very long so I will just name it base fragment. Now because it is a base class and I do not want to initialize this class but I want to derive other fragments or other classes using this class and that is why I will mark this class as abstract. So I have an abstract class base fragment. Now because I will use this class for all my fragments what I will do is I will define a generic type that is view binding and when we will define the actual implementation of a fragment using base fragment we will define the actual binding class so for now i will use view binding so vb will take any class that is an implementation of view binding now for the constructor of our base fragment i will pass a higher order function that will inflate the view binding so I will define here private val binding inflator because it is going to inflate the binding. So I am naming it as binding inflator and it is a function. So first I will define the parameters. So the first parameter is a layout inflator. So I will define a layout inflator and the return type would be the view binding. So when we call this function, we will get the view binding. Now we have an abstract class base fragment and to the constructor we are passing binding inflator that is a function that takes inflator as a parameter and it returns the view binding. Now because this class is for fragment we need to extend or inherit fragment class to this class this base fragment class. So we have inherited fragment to this base fragment. Now after this we will override the function on create view. So I will write here on create view and we will override this function. So we have on create view here and we have the layout inflator. Now what I will do is I will call our binding inflator inside this on create view function and we will get the view binding. Now before that I will define a private var. So I will define private where and we have binding of type vb and the initial value is null now what i will do is i will initialize this binding so i have written binding equals to 
and to get the binding i will call this function binding inflator so you can call this function like this or you can call invoke and this function accepts layout inflator that we already have here so what i will do is i will pass the inflator now we have initialized the binding and now we can return binding dot root and we also need to access this binding variable in the classes that we will derive using this base fragment so what i will do is i will create one more val and this will be binding of type vb and for the getter i will write underscore binding as vb now this is not null and we do not need to use the null safety whenever we will access the binding but for the null safety here we will check if underscore binding is null we will throw an exception throw illegal argument exception so we will throw this exception and for the message we will pass let's say binding cannot be null like this now we can use binding dot root to return the view so we will return the binding like this now our base fragment is ready and now we can use this fragment to derive all the actual fragments so let's see an example let's go to login fragment and here instead of this fragment what we will do is we will extend or inherit base fragment so uh, here is an error we need to pass view and saved instance state so now let's extend or inherit base fragment and whenever we are extending base fragment we need to define the view binding type and for this case the binding is fragment login binding and to the constructor we need to pass the inflate function the reference of the inflate function and to get the reference what we will do is we will use this operator and then we will write the function name now this is how we pass a reference of a function now this means we are passing the function here so now our login fragment is ready and now we do not need to use this binding and we do not need to initialize the binding because binding is already here so now we can just create the fragment using base fragment and we will have this binding to access all the ui components and now we do not need to initialize the binding in every fragment and the same method you can use for activity as well so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you need the source code you can get it from the link that is given in the description of this video and if you have any problem or confusion or question you can leave it in the comments below and i will try to help you out so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off